Talking about homesteading, Shali, you've done a little bit of it by creating your at-home garden. People might be creating their own bread, maybe making their own cheese. Maybe you even bought a few animals. We're seeing that with the Hawthorne Country Store. They have a run on chicks, baby chicks and hens right now. So I want to show you a little bit of inside the store. They have a location in Santee. That's their newest one. And they also have a location in Escondido. Three different spots in San Diego. And uh, the owner says that she uh, says in the beginning when people realized store shelves were looking barren and people were hesitant to be in stores because of social distancing. She was seeing more business than ever. People buying cultures and at home cheese making kits, mason jars for canning and jarring, seeds for home gardening, yeast for bread making. And the one thing that she saw people buying the most was baby chicks and hens, obviously, for people who wanted to have their own chicken coop at home and possibly fresh eggs to create their own food supply. Take a listen. And we've had a massive insurgence. And I think, I think it's because people have time. They're like, oh, I always wanted to raise my kids, but we didn't want to commit to the time. Well, if you're home for a couple months, you have time to do it now. Well, and you have more time to clean up more messes because really that's how it all, it all boils down to, do you have time for more responsibility, which includes taking care of, cleaning up after, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how many are we talking about that you're selling? Like each week, how many chicks are you getting and how many are leaving? Yeah. So um, in, in adult hens, we're selling probably 50 to 100 every 10 days or so. Wow. And that's a lot. It's a lot. And then in baby chicks, we're selling about 700 to 800 a week. That's a lot of chickens for sure. But keep in mind, those baby chicks, they have to be raised indoors for the first eight weeks. Then after that, that's when you could create a coop and create your whole outdoor space for these animals. They're still stocked, and she says she's taking every precaution that they usually would selling live animals. The chicks, in fact, are only sold if they're certified by the National Poultry Improvement Plan. They're now currently listing, um, limiting 10 per customer. Good to note, too, if you live in the city of San Diego, uh, in the city, you can only have up to five, and no roosters obviously are allowed, so you want to make sure that you check on your city. If you do plan on getting chicks or hens and starting your own coop you want to check on your city's rules and do and abide by what they have going on also what she normally has as these stores are still open and considered essential businesses are normally cheese making classes and a couple of other homesteading skills classes and she hopes to put all of those online in the coming weeks for more information on what's going on at the hawthorne store uh, go to fox 5 diegocom and just click on that scene on tab and let's have some fun Charlie. why not so if you bought a baby chick today and you wanted to take it home. When is the first time that you would be able to actually get fresh eggs? Do you have any idea? I do not have any idea. I'm sticking with the jalapenos right now. I don't know if I want like a little <laughs> animal running around. Grow the plants. So people will have to wait about six months to get their first fresh egg. So while you might want to buy some chicks and they're super cute and you learn the process right now, keep in mind that it's going to be a while before you get those fresh eggs in your backyard. I'm gonna, I already have strawberry. I just planted my strawberries and my strawberries are going to come in. I'm going to stick with that. Sounds right. good. Thank you, Heather.